In this video, we're going to look at some GCSE Maths Foundation A01 questions. If you haven't looked at the other videos that I posted earlier, please do check it out. I'll post the link in the description below. Let's go ahead and get started. So 180 minutes in hours. So we know one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So 180 minutes will be 180 divided by 60. 60, 120, 180, which is three hours. The answer is three hours change 40 centimeters into millimeters we know one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters so 40 centimeters is going to be 40 times by 10 which is 400 millimeters so the answer is 400 next 0 0.8 as a percentage so there'll be 8 over 10 0 0.8 as a fraction is going to be 8 over 10 because if you divide 8 by 10 that gives us 0 0.8 now change it, change it into a percentage, we need to make the denominator into a hundred, so we have to times by a ten. Therefore we need to time the numerator by ten as well, so that will give us 80 over 100. So the answer is 80% because percentage is out of 100. 80%. Write half as a decimal, so half as a decimal is 0 0.5. 0 0.3 as a fraction similar question to the one we did before so 3 out of 10 so 3 divided by 10 is 0 0.3 we cannot simplify it and the question did not ask us to simplify it so leave it as 3 over 10 but we can't simplify it anyway 0 0.8 as a percentage same question again let's do it again help us remember it remember fraction uh, percentage is out of 100 so that would be 80 out of 100, which is 80%. So the answer is 80%. Work out 7.2 times by 8. If you're not sure, do a column multiplication. 8 times 2 is 16. Carry the 1. 7 times 8 is 56. Add 1 is 57. If you're not sure about your time tables, please do learn your time tables. So we have to divide the answer by 10. So it becomes 57 point six and this is worth one mark next fraction with same denominator both same so we don't need to change anything don't need to make it into equal fraction seven take with three is four over twelve give your answer in this fraction in simplest form so when you simplify it you can divide top and bottom by four that gives one over three and that's the answer is worth two marks because we have to simplify it now this question is interesting because this comes on higher as well. Now you're probably thinking, I know how to change millimeters to centimeters. How can I change millimeters cube into centimeters? So let's go ahead and do this one. First of all, we need to use our knowledge of one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So one centimeters cubed is going to be one centimeter times by one centimeter times by one centimeter. So one centimeters cube in millimeters will be each of these centimeters will change into 10 millimeters 10 millimeters 10 millimeters that will give us 1000 now this is the scale factor the volume scale factor what we have to do is now divide the 4500 by 1000 that gives us 4.5 centimeters cubed the answer is 4.5 centimeters cubed next 0 0.9 is a percentage 9 divided by 10 gives us a fraction so we times by 10 and 10 that is 90 out of 100 which is 90 percent now some of you might already know that 0 0.9 is 90 percent just go ahead and write your answer and it's worth one mark but it's always good to understand how i get the answer or how you get the answer 4 over 5 is a percentage, so 4 over 5. Again, make the denominator into 100 times by 20. So we'll times the numerator by 20 as well, so that gives us 80 over 100. So the answer is 80%. 80%. Change 530 centimeters into meters, so we know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So we have to divide 530 by 100 to get it into meters so that'll give us 
5.3 meters, this is worth one mark. So that was a quick revision on the A1 question. Next, I'm going to look at the problem solving questions. For example, questions like these. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.